Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm the innkeeper and today I would like to welcome you all to the five year anniversary of me recording on YouTube. It's been five years. Oh no. Five years. Already. That was so quick. That was that was really, really fast. Okay, so it's been five years. I might add this is including the time between me being the innkeeper and me being, well, with the Game of Peons as well. It's, it's still the same channel, really, just sort of renamed. I think it's been the Innkeeper longer than it's been the Game of Peons as well, which is quite surprising to me, because for some reason, I always, I just, it's never going to be, uh, the, the Game of Peons is already going to be a part, or always going to be a part of the channel, and I always feel like it's a bigger part of it, because there were more videos of the Game of Peons, but I think that's no longer the case, and the Innkeeper has, I don't know, it, it, there's more videos of the innkeeper now, which is me, same person really, but of course Game of Peons being this sort of uh, free channel effort of multiple people, including myself. Anyway, I don't know if I can make that more confusing, but anyway, what I want to quickly mention is the they got a special thing planned for the five year anniversary, and that is a hopefully successful Q and A session. I don't, I mean, I've been thinking about what to do for the five year anniversary. It's a really big one. It's, it's very important, it's a very, very big milestone, and I feel like a Q&A session is the, the perfect thing to go for, really. I don't necessarily talk about myself so much, or my, uh, my opinions on some things. Not necessarily that I'm going to be talking about politics or anything larger jargon like that, it's a gaming channel. But, you know, I don't feel like I really uh, present myself, off, well, too often with the, 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 the channel or the videos, anyway. I don't know... What kind of sentence that was. I'm just really excited. I'm finding it very difficult to talk. This isn't the first take. And I feel like I should just sort of go in with it. You know, put all of my heart, my passion, and my energy just into this one recording. Which will probably still have a few cuts. But you know what? The intro is always the hardest bit. Especially on these milestone videos. It's just, you want to make sure it's perfect. But it never is perfect. But anyway, yeah. So we're going to do a Q&A session. So in the comments of this video, if you want to answer, if, you, if you've got a question... Then just put a, a Q and then a, well, a Q and then a, um, a semicolon or a colon. I think it's a colon. A colon space, wherever the question is. That would be ideal. It's mostly, it's either I do this or if there isn't that many questions or if, I mean, really, I feel like if I've got enough to fulfill a session, which I feel like is, I don't know, half, like 30 minutes to an hour. There might be multiple parts to the, the Q&A videos as well. I probably will have gameplay in the background of them as well, but that won't be the big part of them. When would I re upload them as well? Probably over the weekend. It depends how many questions I get, to be honest. If it's a lot, and at the same time, if some of them are appropriate to answer as well. I'm probably not going to answer all of them. But, you know, I just don't know how many people that watch my videos, don't really comment, but maybe want to answer a question. That's really, it's something that's quite difficult to gauge, which is why I don't really want to do a live Q&A session, because I don't think many people are going to attend that, just because mostly time constraints, as it were. That's why so doing something live is a little bit more awkward in that respect, because obviously everyone is just in different time zones. We have people all over the world watching YouTube and YouTube videos, and my demographics as well do vary quite a lot. Having a live session, like I said, would make things a little bit awkward, which is why I just want to do a sort of recorded video of it, of me. Maybe I'm playing a game in the background, I don't really know, but just sort of talking about random gaming topics here and there, or my opinions on random things, or just, I don't know. Whatever you feel like asking, I will try my best to answer it, if and when appropriate. Appropriate, a big word right there. Just want to specify that big word. As to what it what is not appropriate, you just ask away and I will answer as such. But anyway, I thought I wanted to say that very quickly before I go on to sort of the nitty gritty things that I need to talk about with today. Obviously, I keep saying obviously. Why do I keep saying that? I seem to have a trend of just going for particular phrases or words that are used to transition over from another line or another topic. It's really frustrating, but anyway, it, but anyway is also one of them. So these videos tend to be vlogs at the same time. I don't really do many for, sort of vlogging or channel update videos. So this is sort of an ample opportunity for me to perform that task, which I feel like is somewhat of a, necess a necessity because it does form a dialogue between YouTuber and 
commenter or YouTuber and not really a viewer. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. But commenter came to mind first. Yeah, YouTuber and commenter. I did it again. YouTuber and viewer. There we go. Viewer, patron, if you want to call it that. I mean, if I called my subscribers anything, it probably would be patrons. But I feel like that would be patronizing. Uh -huh. Patronizing is what I really wanted to say there. But obviously, I was playing on words. You, you get it? It was funny. <laughs> it was funny. You're meant to laugh. Hopefully. I mean, that's the desired, the desired outcome. <laughs> there we are. Now, something else I want to talk about. I've got new sound equipment coming in as well. So I thought another really big thing for the five-year anniversary was a bit of a sound upgrade. I don't think what I've got now is bad. But it does come with a little bit more background noise than I would otherwise enjoy. And at the same time, I feel like my voice and the decibel limits that it reaches sometimes exceeds that of comfortable hearing level. So I need a limiter. So what I've done is, well, I say I need a limiter. I did, well, yeah, I, I need a compressor, essentially. So what I've done is I've got a compressor. I've also got a new preamp as well, as along with the, the soundboard that I currently have, which acts as a, a preamp at the same time. But the compressor I got, which is the, um, the DBX, uh, 166XS. I sort of need to create a sound loop, as it were, so it needs to go into the pre- Okay, start that again. Microphone, which I might add is the, the Rode Pro Dynamic Microphone, which is a good one to use, I would say. I'd recommend it for anyone that's sort of doing professional podcasting or that kind of thing. I feel like it's okay for me. I mean, you know, it's weird to say that this is professional podcasting or professional YouTube or anything like, like that, but I feel like as- a long time YouTuber, five years, I feel like is quite a long time. I'm in that group now, uh, just, uh, you know, a bit suave. <laughs> Not that I know what I'm talking about half the time. It's been five years and I'm still a little bit dense, which is fine, really, a little dense when it comes to sort of YouTube and what you should or shouldn't. Well, I, actually, what am I trying to say right now? Really, it's just, you know, YouTube. And it's a, it's a scary place. And I feel like I've been on it long enough to understand its, its whereabouts and how it works. To uh, a certain extent where I can be aware of it, but also not follow it, which, you know, <laughs> once again, just want to keep going with this recording and it just ends up being a big, I don't know, random, convoluted number of thoughts that keep trying to process themselves. Yeah. So yeah, new sound equipment. So what I need to do is I need to connect up the microphone to the preamp, the preamp to the compressor, the compressor to the soundboard, and then that soundboard can relay the final signal, which should be my delicious, high-quality voice to the masses. Now, right now, I'm using Audacity, so it's going to sound a lot better than it otherwise would in a normal recording, because I have the ability to sort of randomly manipulate it here and there. However, what I want to do is get rid of that background work of sound manipulation, so that it can pretty much sound good without me doing that. That would be ideal. So I'm spending the extra bit of money right there, which has been from the ad revenue that has been generated from this channel, which has been pretty good. I've sort of saved it up over the course of, well, since partnership, which I think has been three or two and a half years. I think it's been three years. We'll round it up. It's been three years, I think. So the amount of uh, ad revenue that I've gained from that has given me the ability to purchase not only games for the channel that I play, which is very useful, but at the same time, this neat little sound equipment right here, which is going to be very, very nice. I do have the compressor here, I might add. I'm just waiting for the preamp. I was hoping to get the sound, well, the sound, the new sound setup done before this video, but unfortunately, uh, I don't know, the shipping is taking a lot longer for that preamp. I don't know why, but there we are. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully you will all be as well. I'm not saying the sound that I've had is absolutely terrible. I'm just saying it could be a lot better. Mostly emphasizing the ability to limit the decibel level just so that it doesn't screech. Or it doesn't get that sort of annoying static sound that tends to happen whenever I, I don't know, scream or shout or talk above a particular level. Which can be a little bit frustrating to hear. But anyway, so what have we done over the course between the four-year anniversary event, or the, the four-year anniversary and the five-year anniversary. Well, we reached 10,000 uh, subscribers plus, which is pretty great. We made a Merv video for that. We made a Merv 10,000 subscriber milestone video for that. We're currently sitting at 
What are we at right now? Blah, 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 blah. I should be prepared for this, but I'm really not. It's really weird doing this live. We're at 13,436, which I think is pretty fantastic. We haven't seen too much of a huge growth, I would say, in this sort of, um, <clears throat> I don't know, annual look. Let's say that the annual system that we have is always uh, the 28th of February to the next 28th of February, that kind of thing. It hasn't been absolutely massive, but it has been pretty good. My channel's never really been too much about growth, g growth, I suppose. I've just sort of been playing games that I enjoy playing and just, you know, it's, it's a hobby, like I said. It's a nice little hobby and I earn a little bit from it at the same time as well, which is a nice little bonus, really. And it's mostly about sort of, um, it's mostly about, I don't know how to explain it. It, it gives me something to do, basically. Uh, otherwise, I'll just sort of be playing games and maybe just watching TV shows and feeling a little bit glum, to be honest, because when, when I finish one of these videos, get the editing done, do all the background work with it, it just it feels really satisfying, and it feels like it's, I get up in the morning and do something other than my job. My I got my normal job, and then I got this, and it just feels good to not have to come back from the normal job and not really have anything to do. So, like I said, it's a hobby. I feel like if I wasn't doing this, I probably would be doing something else, though. I don't know. I feel like I'm probably a bit of a hobbyist. I don't know. Something to, to fill the gaps of the day, I suppose. And this definitely does it, and it does it in a very fun and interesting manner as well. Not to mention all the stuff that I've learned in the background when it comes to video editing and Photoshop as well. Like, I can do a decent amount with Photoshop now, mostly with... Most of it's through thumbnails, but obviously the, the artwork that I've got, which I might add... Needs updating. <laughs> the artwork is about three years old as well, so I don't know what I'd really do because I really like what I've got now. It's got this sort of nice, cozy, innkeeper feeling, and I just don't see any point to upgrade it because I feel like I've. It's it's what I want. That's sort of what I've reached. Maybe just increase its fidelity. I don't know. I could go for a slightly. I mean, yeah, that's really all I can think of. Just a higher fidelity variant of what I've already got or what I'm already using. Changing the intro and outro videos around a little bit as well. Just once again, fidelity is the big word right now. Just making sure it looks a lot nicer. I'm really surprised I've been able to talk for this long. When I watched my previous video and I was like, how the hell did I talk for 20 minutes? But it's this weird skill I have that I don't know I've got it until I'm already recording. And it just sort of happens. But anyway, and then I point it out. I, I imagine it's mostly due to my tangents. In fact, I've completely forgotten where I am right now because of that tangent. But there we are. We reached 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. It's been amazing. Five years. So what are we playing right now? What are we playing right now? Oxygen Not Included, which is a pretty cool sort of survival space Connolly game. I'm really enjoying it. It's a very unique title that I look forward to playing a little bit more. We are nearly done. We are nearly done. We're playing Astroneer as well. I've recorded the final video for that. So that will be coming up for you as well. Very fun indeed. I feel like we explored the boundaries of that game's space, as it were. And I'm looking forward to playing it again in the future in its sort of uh, slightly more updated stage, let's say. It's still, like, currently in alpha. I was going to say, like I said, currently in alpha, but I stopped myself from saying that and instead just said, like. It's still currently in alpha, so I'm waiting until the game goes slightly higher up from there. Tavern Tycoon as well is a game that we've been playing a lot of. I've enjoyed the hell out of that game, but there have been a number of bugs that I've been sort of experiencing, as it were, that have made me slightly salty in some areas. Episode 5 right there was a good example of a bug taking place where the AI would just sort of not know what to do. I am aware of that level. I do need to still play it again. Maybe it wasn't a bug, maybe I'm just being silly, but I've watched other videos and people seem to do it with complete ease. Whereas I'm struggling, but I don't know why I'm struggling. Because it doesn't seem like they're running into the same problems that I am, even though I'm doing the same things they are. I, I don't know. I'm just going to attribute it to incompetence. But then another half of me is like, okay, maybe there was just a particular update at the point when I recorded it that just caused it to have a few issues because the game does up update quite regularly as a usual sort of early access releases do when they get brought onto the system as it were so that's that's something to think about but i will be attempting to play some more of that in the future prison architect as well a very a very big video a big video series for the channel i remember mega max v1 as well or the, or the mega max it wasn't really v1 
being, I think, one of my most popular series as well. And the Mega Max or Prison Architect Mega Max V2 as well. Another milestone series, I would say. Very exciting to play. Very exciting for people to watch as well, by the looks of it. People seem to very much enjoy the series. So I'm very much glad about that. And I think that's, I think that's what we're playing right now. We did finish off Stardew Valley a little while ago. And I think that was, was it last month? I think it was last month. Yeah, it was last month. Wow, already last month. In fact, an exact month ago. Very odd. Oddly enough, an exact month ago. It doesn't feel like that long ago. Also finished Timber and Stone as well. We probably should think about the games that we played during this time as well. Which was Timber and Stone, The Land of Lake Season 3. Which I think is the longest series on my channel. And also the longest series. I want to make it remain the longest series on my channel. I don't think a series should go on for one year and nine months. We've got about 154 episodes or 160 episodes, something like that. And that includes... In fact, no, that, that excludes live streams as well because they were sort of episodes. They were like half episodes, as it were. And they were just sort of highlights of the stream. So you've got to think about those at the same time. That probably adds quite a lot extra of sort of total game time for that series. It was an insanely long series, but my word, did it just come out so beautifully. It was such a cool-looking town, and it just felt so good to have created something so... I feel like it was created with a lot of heart, which is what I really was happy about when looking at the series. And I look back on it every now and again and think to myself, this is what I accomplished. This was an accomplishment. This was a passion project that I'm just very, very happy to have been a part of. That's, that's what that series is for me. It's a very important one of that. Would I play Timber and Stone again? Mm. I don't know. I feel like it's very unlikely. I feel like I'm slightly verging away from the sort of building games. Building for me, at least at the moment, isn't really something I'm focusing on too much. Mostly I feel like playing strategy games, that kind of thing. Battle Brothers is a big one as well that I want to sort of get back into. They have had their final update, I believe, until they go into the full release of the game. And I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that because they've got some er they got some late game events as well. Some like uh, zombie hordes, they have orc raids. And I believe there's, um, I think the zombie hordes I might add are undead hordes. I think the other one is also a war between the clans of that game. It's a very interesting concept, not to mention all the other things that have been added, added since we last played it, which is a very long time ago now, I believe. Stardew Valley as well, like I pointed out before, a very, very fun series. I enjoyed every moment playing that game. It's just every time... I would come back from work and I'd just be like, yes, play some Stardew Valley. Because it's just such a calm and cozy game. But at the same time, there's so much things to do in the background as well. I feel like there's always something to do. There's there's barely or very rarely a moment of, of being lost or stuck. Because as soon as you, you sort of get to that point, something else comes up. And even then, if you really, really don't have anything to do, you could just go mining or fishing or just do some more farming. It depends how much money you got, really. <clears throat> But it just, it's just one of those fantastic games that are just beautifully put together to, to create something very enjoyable. And I did play quite a lot of that game as well. We got 90 episodes out of that. Very much worthwhile. S City Skylines as well. The City of Drunkard. A very fun series indeed. I think that was, that was a fairly short series. About 30 episodes. I say that's a short series, really. I mean, when it comes to my channel, yeah, I think 30 episodes in a series is quite short. Even though I feel like 30 episodes is really the magic number for a series before you should really move on. It's just because of the way I upload. I don't upload very much in comparison to other channels. I just upload sort of once a day and try to keep it at that. And I've been uploading once a day since before the, the channel started. I say before the channel started. When the channel started. I can't upload before it started unless, of course, I had another channel which I didn't have. I don't know if I... No. <clears throat> I don't know how I'd feel if I did have another channel. <laughs> mm. It's like moving around. It's like it's like dropping your child off. Just stay there, Farnsworth. I don't know if I'd call my kid Farnsworth. But I don't think I would. And I feel like that would be a name where they would sort of incite rage among peers. So probably not the best idea in the world. <clears throat> and then Stoner, welcome to Darkstone and also welcome to North Point. Not in that order because North Point came before Darkstone. Darkstone, a very, very fun series once again. However, I feel like it might be... 
it was sort of that series where I said to myself, I need to stop playing this game for a little bit. Because I just felt so tired towards the end of it. We did the, the, the last big build. And as fun as that was, I just realized I've been playing this game for a very long time. And I'm getting a little bit burnt out from it. So I thought, instead of burning out, let's just sort of um, extinguish the candle ourselves, as it were. Instead of, you know, having the candle just sort of wax away. I'm not sure what kind of analogy I'm coming up with right now, but what I'm trying to say is I want to conserve my enthusiasm for that game for a later date instead of just burning out of it and not wanting to play it ever again. So that's what I'm doing right now, so I'm looking forward to playing it in the future. I haven't done an update video of that game for a while. I sort of veered away from doing that at the same time as well. I should really should really get to, to doing that, but unfortunately life is is veering in a different direction for me right now, and it's giving me a lot less free time, especially at this point, and sort of a training, as it were, to to do a sort of new position at the place that I work. Mm. Which is uh, basically a very, very big step for a career development, as it were. And it's unfortunately sort of veered some time away from the channel. I don't know if there's going to be a point where this sort of passion project, this this hobby, turns into something bigger. Or if it just eventually sort of fades away, maybe I just don't really want to do it anymore. It's hard to really think about not doing this sort of on a daily basis. Even though I don't necessarily do it on a daily basis, but just sort of something to think about in the background. Something that I'm always paying attention to as well. I can't really think of a time before it, to be honest with you, where I didn't just think, Okay, how's the channel doing right now? Okay, well, should I record anything? It's a weird process. And, you know, without that process, I feel like I would be sort of lost. As it were, you know, back to the kid analogy. I'm gonna drop my kid off. Go away, Farnsworth. It's gonna be gone forever. Why do I keep thinking Farnsworth? I think it's Futurama. I watched a bit of Futurama, so I think that's probably why. I think, pretty sure that's why. Might add sponsored by. Not sponsored by. But yes. So, lots has been talked about. 22 minutes. <laughs> 22 minutes. I don't know how I do it. 22 minutes to minutes of just this. It's just audio. There's no gameplay in the background. Because I haven't got anything on me right now. I need to get this uploaded. I've pretty much just come back from work. And it's like, I need to get this done. <laughs> so, let's do, let's see what we've got. It's, once again, all just, it's, it's one of those points. I always strive to do these anniversary videos. Because I feel like they're very important. They're, excuse me, very good highlights as it were, to look back with on the channel. I, I always listen to my old anniversary videos every now and again and just sort of just hear about what I've been doing at that point and sort of see how much I, I've grown since that time as sort of a YouTuber and as a person at the same time as, as that. And it's always enjoyable. And your comments as well is always nice and sort of the, the nice things that some of you are saying. And even then, some, some of you that are correcting me on a few things, especially when playing games as well, always welcome. I don't think I've ever had a harsh comment, which, well, I say, I say that, there have been a harsh comment, but it's just a random troll coming along, but the, the community that we're slowly building up right now is just a very nice, very lovely bunch of people that, you know, just sort of says what they want to say, you know, <laughs> says, says what they want to say, they want to see this, they want to see that, and at the same time, it's, it just doesn't feel malicious, or at least I don't find it to be malicious, maybe my threshold is just a perfect amount for the internet, I know some people can't really hack it, but I feel like I've been on the, the internet for a decent amount of time where some stranger saying something bad doesn't really scratch the surface. I don't know. I suppose you have to have a thick skin, I suppose, when being or being a part of the internet in any aspect of it, really. Whether it just be you being a random observer passing by or you being part of a forum page or being a YouTuber and showing your, your voice, uh, well, sharing your voice around the world and whatever. Sharing your voices and gameplay and mistakes <laughs> around the world <laughs> there we are anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching me the incubator play for five years it's been an absolute pleasure and i look forward to seeing you in the sixth and seventh and eighth year if i can keep going at that point i really hope i can because it's it's just so fun it's so enjoyable i love it all the time but there we are Thank you for watching. Feel free to uh, like, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel and Twitch for live streams. Don't forget about the Q&A as well. Send me your questions. 
And then hopefully I will be able to get that done on the weekend and get it uploaded on the weekend as well. I'm looking forward to doing that. Interested in what people may possibly ask. If we don't get too many questions, then I might just sort of do a live stream event over the like Saturday and Sunday or something like that. Just I don't know what I would record. I've been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm, so I might just play that all day. <laughs> Although I feel like that would induce a headache. I don't it probably would induce some sort of headache. I'd probably just play a game of people's choice. We will find out. But there we are. Thank you very much for watching. Been an absolute pleasure as always. And look forward to seeing you in the Q&A videos. Bye-bye.